안녕하십니까? Today I'm going to show you five of the craziest, funniest, and hardest programming language ever created. This category is called esoteric programming. They are not built for anything real. They are built as a joke. They are built for fun. They are built to maybe push the mind just for fun, challenge, and just hobby. The number five programming language is called BrainFuck. The reason why it's called BrainFuck is because it's going to fuck your brain. This language is incredibly hard because it's very minimalistic. This language only recognizes eight characters. Those are all the characters that language recognizes. I know, it's crazy. And the hello world of this language looks crazy as well. Basically, the way the language works is by, is by moving numbers around. Plus and minus, that's plus and minus. More than less than, that moves a number to the left or a number to the right. That and comma are for input and output. These ones, the square brackets, are for looping. I know, it's insane. It's called Arnold C. Arnold, because of Arnold Schwarzenegger and C, maybe for C, I don't know, sentences or words or lines that Arnold Schwarzenegger said in all his movies. To start a program, you say, it's showtime, in uppercase. That's the rule. It's showtime. Say, it's showtime. To do a console.log or like a printf or whatever, you say, talk to the hand. And to finish the program, you will say, you have been terminated. You have to say, instead of if, is because I'm going to say please, A. Because I'm going to say please, A, that means if, A. And instead of else, is bullshit, which is, I love it. This is my favorite one. And then at the end, you say, you have no respect for logic. And that is the end of the if loop. Talk to the hand. How cool is that? Number three is called emoji gramming. All the commands are emojis. And the hello world of emoji gramming looks crazy. It's insane. I'm not even gonna try to explain it because it's insane. Imagine if you open a file and it's full of emojis. <laughs> I don't know. Shakespeare is a programming language that makes you structure your program as if it was a Shakespeare play. Romeo, Juliet, Ophelia and Hamlet. Those are names of the variables that you're going to use. It's divided into acts and scenes. The craziest part is that you have to actually have to structure your program as a play. So for example, in the hello world, it says enter Hamlet and Romeo. You cannot say Romeo equals four. Uh -uh. In this case, Hamlet has to speak to Romeo and say you, A, B, C, blah, 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 blah and that will set the variable of Romeo. Now all these words, all these words are recognized by the compiler. And these words, if they are positive, they are a plus one. If they are negative, they are a minus one. If they are an adjective, they mean one. And if they are a noun, they multiply by two. Those are the ways of setting the variables. It's crazy. Now, the funniest part here is that if you want to do something like console.log, you will say, speak your mind. Huh? All right. Now, the last one, which is my favorite one, I think, is called LOL code. Log code. And this was made to talk like the internet people talk. So you say, hi 1.2. That declares basically the version. Then to import standard whatever, you say, can I has? And to console log, you say visible. And the best part is to finish the language, you say, K, thanks, bye. So you say, hi, 1.2, you import a studio, you say, can I has a studio? And then to open a file, you say, please open file. Please, pay, P, L, Z. Please open file and try and catch. Try is awesome, thanks. And oh knows is catch. Those are my top five esoteric programming languages. I think they're funny. I think that if I had to learn one, I would like to really learn Shakespeare. 
LOL code and Arnold C. Let me know what you think of these uh, programming languages. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you have heard of other crazy esoteric programming language, that's it for this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, share the love, and don't forget to eat the kimchi. You are terminated.